And his eyes were swollen shut. He had two broken orbitals. Um, eye sockets were broken. His nose was broken in two places. He had two brain bleeds and a concussion. A man who fell 700 feet down Mount Hood this summer continues to recover in Arizona. The 55 year old says he made a goal to climb all the highest points in every state when he turned 50. And in July, it was Mount Hood's turn, but he slipped on the steep old chute route on the mountain's south side and could not break his fall. The Oregon National Guard was able to perform a hot landing to rescue him, and he spent four days in the intensive care unit. His wife says he was unrecognizable. He says from doctors to friends and family, He's heard the word miracle over and over again, but he says they never lost hope. I mean, I was putting goals on myself as I was laying in the hospital room. I'm going to be discharged on Monday. I'm going to be walking on this day. I'm going to be getting up and doing this on this day. And these things all happened, and I just don't give up. I mean, your body is strong enough to, to endure. And Chris says he does not remember much of the rescue. He says at some point he thought he had been abducted by aliens because they kept asking him the same questions over and over again, which is typical when you have a head trauma.